Hi, I'm Samaya Madia from Research Center for Pharmaceutical Nanotechnology. Today we would like to show you how to use entity assay to evaluate the variability of cells after treating them with different nanopolyplexes. Let's get started. First, I remove the medium. Then I am going to wash the cells with PBS. But first, I change the pipette to avoid the contamination of PBS. Now, with a new pipette, I wash the cells. I mix it gently. And I remove the PBS completely. I use a smaller pipette too. I add a few microliters of trypsin. Make sure that all the cells are covered with trypsin. Now I'm tapping the flask. It helps to detach the cells completely. Now here, you can see the cells are detached in inverse microscope. I add medium to stop the trypsin. Having pipetting, I want to make sure that all the cells are detached. And now I transfer cells to a falcon tube. Again by pipetting, I want to make sure that I have a homogeneous cell suspension. I transfer about 500 microliters of cell suspension into a tender tube. Then I take about 50 microliters of cell suspension to another microtube. And I add the same volume of triopon blue and I mix it. To count the cells, I need an hemocytometer. First, I put a few drops of water here and here. And I gently place one cover glass onto this slide. I mix the sample completely just before counting. And with the sampling pipette, I put 7 microliters of cell suspension into the counting chamber. Be careful not to overload. I pull down the cell suspension in the trial reservoir. And I use a channel transfer pipette to seat the cells in 96 well plates. I mix the cells to make sure that cells are suspended homogeneously.
then I continue to seed the cells. First, I remove the medium. I change the tip and I replace it with serum and antibody free medium. These cells will be incubated for 15 minutes at 27 degrees Celsius. To prepare the reaction media, first I add serum and antibody free media to all the samples and then I add antisense and I mix it by pipetting I also add antigens to other samples After adding antigens, I mix the sample completely And I add scrambled antisense to this sample. And I mix it. Now I add different polymers to the samples and I mix them. Now I'm adding media. First, I remove serum free medium. And I add the treatment to each well. Again for the other samples, I'm adding media, I mix them,
I remove serum free medium. And I add the treatment to each well. And this is the last sample. I remove serum free medium. And I add treatment to the last valve as well. After 4 hours, I remove the treatment media. And I replenish cells with fresh media. After 24 hours of incubation, I will perform MTT assay, so I need 20 milliliters of DMEM without phenol red. And I add 5 milliliters of filtered MTT solution. Having pipetting, I would like to make sure that they were mixed well. And now I transfer it to a reservoir. Now I remove the media. And I replace it with 250 microliters of MTT added demand. Up to here, all the wells have received MTT, except the four wells which will serve as blank controls. For solubilizing the water in soluble form as I'm produced by metabolically active cells, I need to have 20 milliliters of DMSO plus 2.5 milliliters of Sorenson's buffer. I add DMSO. And having appropriate pipetting, I want to make sure that they will mix well. Now gently I remove the MTT added demand. And 
and I replace it with DMSO plus Sorenson's buffer. And I put the plate in plate reader and I can read the results with preset MTT asset. No matter what the treatment is, entity is a restore method, so the availability of cells can be evaluated after any different treatment. Entity metabolism is proportional to the level of metabolism energy in the cells. Therefore, even in the absence of cell proliferation, metabolically activated cells can be evaluated. With this method, very small number of cells can be detected. The form of one production is proportional to the amount of entity in the incubation medium, and the maximum amount of form of one produced is not the same in different cell lines. The absorption of formazon varies with the pH. That's why most researchers have buffer at pH 10.5. In the case that you need more than one plate, make sure that controls are included in all the plates. This method suffers from some minor disadvantages. First of all, metabolically inactivated cells cannot be discriminated with dead cells. MTD solution is sensitive to light, so you should protect it from light and it could be stored for a maximum of one month at 4 degrees Celsius. The cells that use for MTT assay cannot be further used for any other purposes. And about the, web, about the stability of drug, this method fails to validate the stability of drug in the medium. And that's all, and thanks for your attention.